Why you look afraid? She hates me. No, she hates me. She hates me. She hates me. No. <laughs> hey everyone! So I haven't done YouTube in a long time. As you can see, we're at my awesome vacation house because I'm so rich. I'm going to start doing YouTube instead of Blog Talk Radio. And the reason why is just because I think all the cool people hang out here. And I used to do um, YouTube back in the day when I actually first got my start. And then I decided I was going to go into radio because I got recruited to radio. So I actually decided that I um, was going to start doing this just because I had been kind of getting a few requests from you guys that I would start doing that. So even though that a lot of you that are, do you see your ears? Amen. Even though that a lot of you have been, you know, a lot of people that are going to be viewing this are people that have been following me over the last few years, um, I'm going to have to completely start over because there are going to be people that are going to start watching the show that have never seen the show before, ever. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about me. My name is Courtney Tripp. I am from 3B Soap Reviews. I have had a show since about 2000 and blah, 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 blah. I don't even remember actually when I got my start. Um, it's not been that long. It's only been five years. I actually thought it had been longer than that, but I've been doing reviews since 2009. So that gives you an estimate. Almost nine years. And I actually started because I um, reviewed Days of Our Lives. And then I got recruited to um, to a radio show and then ended up getting it canceled and then I just did a few guest spots and then started my own show. For those of you that don't know me, I actually got my major start because I was an eJammy advocate and for those of you that don't know who eJammy is, eJammy is actually EJ and Sammy. I just heard something. Hello? You know, EJ and Sammy left and I no longer wanted to watch the show so then I started watching Young and the Restless and became completely addicted to it. It's such a phenomenal show. And um, I was just a huge fan of um, just all the actors and how talented they were. And like the stories were really good. And I only started watching it because my mom actually watched Young and the Restless and my grandfather when he was still alive. Um, he loved the show. He absolutely loved it, and um, what actually, he was, he, my family actually owned an insurance company, and he would completely shut everybody out during that one hour that Young and the Restless was on, and he would get so mad when people would call or try to talk to him whenever he was trying to watch that, because he was all about the Newmans and things like that. So, I wanted to kind of follow in that footstep, and so I started um, reviewing Young and the Restless, and I actually just kind of steered away from Days of Our Lives for a while hard just because of the fact that it was something it was what got my career started so after all was said and done I ended up finally talking to my manager because I got a manager and because the show I really wanted it to take off because I really felt like I had something that I might be able to do for the soap fans because so many of them say well the producers don't hear me they don't hear my voice they don't care I want to make sure that whatever I do with this I'm able to give these guys a voice you hear something? She's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> I want to be able to give a lot to the fans. I want to be able to uh, to be able to be your voice whenever you didn't have one. And a lot of people have given me a lot of criticism in my life about starting this career in soap opera reviewing. And people said, why do you want to do that? That's not a career. Well, to me it is. There are people that are disabled and they stay home or they're retired and they don't or you know they don't have a lot of family and these people become their family that is what is so important to me about soaps and I think that it's a beautiful genre I think it's unique I think it's a unique form of artistry that you don't really get to see and I think that it's a, a breed of something that we need to protect you're the center of it for me you're the center of it for the actors and the show wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for you if you didn't dedicate your time to to watching these shows we wouldn't even have careers at all anyway um give us a follow on twitter at three weeks overviews um we don't have a facebook we have a facebook page but i just haven't done anything with it because i'm just not a big facebooker you know, I'm, I, I do that for more of a personal thing. I've just not gotten into it, but we're going to try to get better about it. 
Enigma for now. We've got Twitter. And then, um, you know, you can follow our show on Blog Talk Radio slash 3B Reviews is what it's going to be as. And then subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Um, and we're 3B Soap Reviews. Um, since our channel is brand new, we don't have like a unique URL that we can create yet because we're just not cool. So whatever. So... Yeah, we're going to be doing some touring. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. I hope you are too. Um, and next week, we will actually start reviewing. I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction for those of you that don't know me. <coughs> you do now. And um, you'll know me even more over time. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should I color my hair? This is my natural color. Should I color it? Yes, yes, it's real. So many people go, is that your weird color color? And I mess with it all the time. You'll probably notice. I'm a fidgeter with my hair. But anyway. Um, okay, so subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. We will follow you back. See you. Bye.